a minute tutorial. I will explain how to create star trails. There are two primary methods in creating star trails, in camera and in software. In-camera star trails are created by the physical movement of the stars through a frame. Often, a normal night sky exposure is modified so the shutter can be left open for many minutes or hours, resulting in concentric streaks across the sky. This method is easy, but any movement in the sky or foreground, lights, or camera shake will be hard to correct. In-software star trails involve taking many sequential normal nighttime exposures with sharp stars and blending them using programs. This method is more time-consuming, but unwanted streaks are easier to remove, and the single frames can be used for other purposes as well. Let's create in-software star trails. First, import all the images into a photo editing program like Lightroom and apply your desired edits. With all the photos selected, right-click and click Edit In. Then, open as layers in Photoshop. Once all the photos are loaded, highlight all the layers except for the bottommost layer and change the blending mode to Lighten. This will create star trails. It's that simple. Finally, flatten the image and export. An alternate method to Photoshop is to use star stacks, a powerful yet simple way to stack exposures. Its purpose built for star trails costs nothing and features a blending mode called gap filling, which will fill in star trail gaps from the intervals between exposures. To get started, select all of your photos and drag them into the program and hit the stacking icon. Star stacks will do the rest, automatically creating star trails. If you use gap filling mode, you will have to adjust the threshold and amount sliders to ensure gap filling is only applied to the stars. The best part about using the program is that it's completely free, meaning that almost anyone can create star trail images. Please note that this tutorial is meant for creating a basic star trail photo. If your needs are more complex, let me know and I will make an advanced guide. Subscribe to Apple Apps for more educational photography content. Leave your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to rate the video. Thanks for watching.